Now let us discuss vitiligo, which is acquired depigmentary disorder. Here the basic problem is the patients are going to have auto antibodies against melanocytes. So there will be auto antibodies against melanocytes. So there will be destruction of the melanocytes in few areas uh, of the body and it is usually associated with thyroid dysfunction, hypo or hyperthyroidism. So how does a patient present uh, to a dermatologist? Chalky white, very, very white colored macules will be seen over the body. And the classification is, you can remember, this is important. Okay, segmental vitiligo, non-segmental vitiligo and unclassified va variant. So segmental was asked in the previous years. So in this segment, dermatomal, all these are the uh, terms which can be used whenever we want to say that the lesions are unilateral and when they are not crossing the midline not crossing the midline so whenever you want to explain any condition which is only affecting one side of the body and if it is not crossing the midline and if it is arranged in a segment or dermatome we use this term segmental segmental so in segmental vitiligo we can see this chalky white macules over the body involving one side which does not cross the midline and this is going to be treated using surgical intervention. Why? Why? Because this is this is seen from the birth, and uh, this segmental vitiligo is not going to respond to the medical treatments. This segmental vitiligo does not respond to medical treatments. So the usual uh, topical agents or phototherapy. Uh, which we give for non-segmental vitiligo will not work here because the lesions do not respond to uh, medical treatment. Here in these patients, we have to do surgical intervention. What is a surgical intervention? We can perform a transplant, skin transplant from the thigh. We'll take the skin and we'll put it over the vitiligo lesion. So in the non-segmental variety, you can remember there are various uh, types, uh, but you can simply remember the, uh, with the name, you can understand where the vitiligo lesions will be there. Acrofacial, acrofacial, acrofacial is face and acral areas. Extremities, the lesions will be there. Mucosal, next one is mucosal. So in mucosal, where can you see the uh, lesions? Over the mucosa. And next we have vitiligo vulgaris, vitiligo vulgaris. So this is the most common type of vitiligo which we can see in which symmetrically distributed depigmented lesions will be seen all over the body. I will show you uh, how the images of this uh, will look like. And in universal vitiligo, there will be almost entire body which is affected. In universal vitiligo, almost entire body will be affected. So this is the unclassified, undetermined variety of vitiligo where over the body, okay, over the body, we can see few areas, one or two lesions of uh, this hypo or depigmented pigmentation can be seen. Uh, this can be seen even in our body also. We need not worry about this. Uh, this is undetermined or uh, unclassified variety. Unclassified variety, which is called as focal vitiligo. So here you can see in this image, this is acrofacial. Acro and facial. You can see over the acra. Uh, acra means extremities and over the face. Over the face, you are able to see this depigmentation, depigmented macules are present. And here you can see vitiligo vulgaris, most common variety where symmetrically distributed depigmented macules can be seen almost all over the body. And in the mucosal vitiligo, you can see mucosa having mucosa having this whitish discoloration, whitish discoloration. And in universal vitiligo, I hope you all know who is this uh, pop singer, pop dancer god king of pop god of pop yes michael jackson so he had this problem of universal vitiligo universal vitiligo that means only one or two patches of uh, uh, this pigmentation can be seen over the body one or two patches of normal skin will be seen over the body so if uh, you treat it it will become completely white there are treatments to make uh, to uh, remove this a uh, few areas of normal skin which are remaining over the patients who are of universal vitiligo. So in uh, vitiligo also we can see true Kobner's phenomenon. This you all do know. And there is one more term, leukotrichia. What is leukotrichia? Leuko is white, trichia is hair. So not only skin but also hair can become 
uh, white in these patients so hair follicle melanocytes if they are damaged and destroyed then we can see that the hair can also become white so along with the skin you are able to see skin is white here so this is an eyebrow a picture so eyebrows you are able to see skin is white and along with it hair is also white so this is what is called as leukotrichia so what is this image uh, showing what is this image showing so this is the belt the pressure of the belt is producing trauma because of which there is kebner's phenomenon that is whitish discoloration of the skin seen over the traumatic areas so this patient was having vitiligo somewhere else over the body but because of this trauma vitiligo lesions have developed over this site so this is true kebner's phenomenon so please try to answer this question in the so 22 year old college student with small depigmented lesions which has been there for 2 years so it is chronic condition as you are able to see over the image and you are in the image you are able to see multiple depigmented patches and small small macules are there so this is a patient of yes wonderful it is vitiligo vitiligo okay if the scalp was having white forelock white forelock and along with that if there are islands of normal skin so if these uh, two were there then what would have been the answer what would have been the answer yes anybody wonderful wonderful then it would have been pyebaldism but here you are able to see the areas of the skin is showing complete depigmentation it is vitiligo in this question